this up. Finally, finally. I'm on. I don't know what was going on, you guys. Facebook wasn't allowing me to be great. I've been fighting with it for the last 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Facebook wouldn't let me be great. Not at all. Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sorry I was being hindered by Facebook. Facebook wouldn't let me be great. It would not let me come on. Hey, sugar, hey. So, I'm on now. I don't know why it wouldn't let me on a little while ago, but it was like I was just sitting there, sitting there. But I'm here now. So you guys, I'm gonna get started. Put that up. Okay. You can leave that out. Yeah. Um. Just put it to the side. Yeah. Okay. Don't put it up. Put. Just leave it out. Out. Leave it there. And I uh, do me a favor. Give me another. Uh. Oh, I'm gonna put this in. Yes. I'm put that in. Well, I just need a measuring cup. I got a measuring cup. Hey. Hey y'all. Hey T. Hey Terrence. You need a plate. Whenever you want one, you come on and get one. When you come on, everybody, please come on, like and share. Hey, Dominique. Come on, come on in. Come on in the room. Hey, Camille. Come on in. Like and share, like and share. Precious. Y'all hurry up and get back. Hey, Paul McCoy. So, all right. So what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to make you guys some homemade chili and homemade cornbread. So I'm going to come on over here. Give me, bring me your phone. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have my wine. You know, I have my wine. So for those of you who know me, no surprise, I always have my wine. And I always take EJ's phone when I'm doing live. You know why? Because I pull him in. Hey, so everybody, please like and share, like and share. Like and share. And I'm going to get EJ on so that I can put his phone up here in front of me. So that I can see the comments in front of me. Hey, Catherine. Hi. Hey, Camille. So let me tag him in. He just came in. Let me tag him in. Nope, I don't want to bring him on camera. But he's in front of me. Yes. Yes, April. Wine is a mug. Hey, Kira. Where are my babies? Hey, Monica McIntyre. Okay, so. I got the phone in front of me. So I can see the comments. Nope, I don't want to hide them. I want to see them. Okay. Okay, you're going to sip on some wine too, Jenny? All right, no problem. So let me turn this down because what we're going to do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start browning my meat, but at the same time that I'm browning my meat, I'm going to go ahead and put my cornbread together at the same time over here. So just come on and bear with me. We're going to get this thing going. All right. So, I'm going to turn my eye on to brown my cornbread. Thank you, darling. So, I'm going to use a quarter cup of olive oil. And I'm using really lean ground beef and ground turkey, a combination. It depends on the individual. You may decide you just wanna use ground turkey, you may decide you wanna use ground chicken, but I'm using ground beef and ground chicken. I'm using a combination of the two. So, I'm gonna, I am gonna coated my pan with oil, and I'm gonna let that get to going. But this is my five bean chili. So, for five bean chili, I use dark kidney beans, Hey, yum. Hey, auntie's baby. So I use five 
different beans. Okay, I'm gonna turn this up. So I use five different beans. I use dark kidney beans. I use light kidney beans. I use black beans. I use northern beans. And I use pinto beans in my chili. It's a five bean chili. I also use corn and I use tomato sauce and I like to get the um, Del Monte chili sells a chili tomato, diced chili tomatoes. This is really, really good. So I use that, okay? So now I got this going, but I want you guys to know that I have two different pots because I'm gonna migrate once I cook the, the turkey and everything. Hey, Kevin Johannes, hey brother. Over here, I'm going to put it in the other pan. So let me get, I want to start browning this meat. So I just went on and put this in here. I'm going to turn it down. Hey, turn this down and we're going to brown this meat here. So I'm going to get that to go on. I'm just going, because it's going to take a little while to brown. Because the thing about ground turkey, and the reason why I like to add the ground beef to ground turkey is because ground turkey has a tendency sometimes, if you don't cook it right, to be a little mushy when you put it in, in like chili, when you're putting it inside of a sauce. So, spread that out good like that. Okay, so let me now season this meat some. So I have some, some salt, just some pink Himalayan salt. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put a little salt and pepper on this, on the meat. Okay, of course you know, I don't measure, which is not good, but I don't. All right, black pepper, and I'm gonna use a little bit of this chili powder. So we can cook that, that flavor into the meat. All right. All right. So we want that to get going. So what I'm gonna do while this is cooking, and I'm gonna come back and forth. I want you guys to see that I'm gonna come back and forth. All right. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get this cornbread started. So, for the cornbread, I have, this is one cup of self-rising white cornmeal. Okay. This is a cup and a half of yellow cornmeal. And one cup of all-purpose flour. here one cup of sugar all right let's I did not mean to do that and I put the meat spatula in the cornbread mixture if you're just coming on please like and share like and share so that's all of so we have, I pre-measured out a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder, okay? Baking powder. All right, so that's all our dry. We're gonna mix all our dry together. So some people will be like, ah, I don't like my cornbread to look white or this and that and the other about the cornbread being a, cause, cause look, it looks a little, it doesn't look yellow, right? Come on, man, you know there's a remedy to that. So I'm just mixing this really well. Let me stir this. Hey, Latanya. 
Hey, Sabrina Fitzgerald, Marcus Ponder. Hey, James. <laughs> I Oh, honey, I am drinking some, um, actually to, tonight, I'm drinking some white Merlot. I love my white Merlot. If you're just coming on, please like and share, like and share. Okay, th thank you, Kira. So I am cooking up this. I'm trying to brown this meat. And you want to keep the juices from your from your uh, for the from the meat. Normally, a lot of when you're making most things, you'll you want to pour the juice off. But for your chili, you want to keep your your meat. You want to keep your juices. I like to get some. Oftentimes, when I get my ground beef, um, I often like to get the coarse um, ground beef which is um, just, just a little thicker grade of ground beef. And I use ground chuck and not just regular 80-20. I like to, I prefer to use ground chuck when I make my chili. All right, so we're gonna keep on with that. All right. Let me move that. All right, so I have two eggs that's going in here. I have a half a cup of butter. Okay. And then, hold on. Let me measure out another, because I got a. I have a. This is a cup. Well, I use a whole, I use a can of cream style corn. Okay. And this is going to be the other. Let me go ahead and start mixing this. Oh, shoot. That's all I get for getting EJ to put the, mix, the, the mixer together for me. Start mixing this. A cup of sour cream. I know somebody's saying, what in the world? You put sour cream and cornbread? Baby, let me tell you, if you've never had it, try it. You'll never go back to not putting it in your cornbread. And I'm going to add a little bit quarter cup more of oil. You don't need that much. Now you got a quarter of a cup. A heavy cream. And then I, I won't use the mixer to do this, but I'll just fold this with a spatula. All right. Now, for somebody else, they might think that this isn't thick enough or this isn't yellow enough for them. They'll think this cornbread is not yellow enough. So let me show you a trick. What we gonna do to make this cornbread yellow. 
All right, let me turn this down. I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to add one, two drops of yellow food coloring in there to give it a little yellowness. Somebody else might say, oh, it's not yet. Okay, we're going to make that. We'll fix that trick. That's a trick. All it is is food coloring. Look, it's yellow now, isn't it? So we just use that little, two little drops. See there? Look at there. So we turn this off. And I have already used this. I have already greased. my baking dish. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in here. I've already preheated my oven. I've already greased my baking dish. that in there let me tell you I, I I'm a Jiffy cornbread girl I love Jiffy cornbread but honey I like my homemade buttery cornbread too when I when I feel like going through all the steps I'll do it I'll make it okay so I've done that but I'm going to stick this in the oven on 350. And that is going to cook for about 25 minutes. Okay? So now let's go back to this. Our, our meat is done, so let's move this over. We're going to change pots. So let's go over a little closer so you can see this. All right, I have this Dutch oven. I'm sorry, I haven't seen, been able to see any questions or anything. Thank you, cousin, for being there. All right, so now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a little oil to the pot. Because I have two cups of Cajun Mirafois, which is celery, bell pepper, and onions. I have two tablespoons of minced garlic. Let me get my wine. That is not too many dishes for EJ to wash. All right, so I'm going to put this in here. Lynette, if you only know. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. All right, so. No, I'm not making a dessert tonight, Latanya. No dessert tonight because I'm making that cornbread. Look. My kids are so rotten. They asked me about making some, um, they asked me about making hot chocolate. I'm not making that either. Michael Summers. Hey there, my niece, Kiana Williams. Yes, it's celery, bell pepper, and onion. It's Cajun Miracroix. It's all three together. You can typically find the Cajun Miracroix in the grocery store in the frozen in the fr frozen section, which is really, really good. It's a way to minimize and cut down prep time, too. So the Cajun Miracroix is a really good alternative. All right, so 
I'm going to saute this celery bell pepper and onion. I have the two tablespoons of minced garlic. I'm going to stick those in there too. All right. He's not going to wash them by himself. Oh, yeah. It's great too. I love it. But this has celery bell pepper and onion in it. I, whenever you have, this is like a good alternative so that you don't have to actually sit down and uh, chop up the vegetables yourself. It's good because when you do it this way, um, if you're cooking it, it's really good. But I wouldn't use this frozen Cajun Maraquois if um, you're going to like make a salad or something like that. Anything where it doesn't require... I wouldn't use it in that. But if you're going to be cooking and you have to cook down the celery bell pepper and onion, I would, yeah, I would get the frozen. Like to do in a rice or do it in something, something else. Yes, it is also good for dressing. Well, I don't know because the corn, you wouldn't put the corn in it. Don't, if you do it for the dressing, don't put the corn in it. I put yellow food coloring, just two drops, just to add the little yellow, because I have picky kids. They're, they want the yellow. They're like, oh, this corn red is white. So you have to appease them in different, man, different ways. And that's how you do it. And that's what I do. I appease them. I do little tricks. They don't even know it. They're like, oh, mama, this is so good. They have no idea that I just put some yellow food coloring in their cornbread mix oh absolutely absolutely so i can tell i can say the recipe for the yellow for the cornbread again i use a cup and a half of yellow cornmeal i use a cup of self-rising hi how, thank you so i use a cup of um white a, a cup of corn self-rising cornmeal white cornmeal i prefer to use the brand white lily really um and i use white lily a cup of all-purpose white lily flour a cup of sugar i use a one can of cream style corn um i use a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon and a teaspoon of baking powder um I use uh, a stick of butter, which is a half, which is a, a half a cup, um, and I use a quarter of cup of canola oil. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Angela. Um, and I also use two eggs and a cup of sour cream. Yeah, I've had that one too, um, Lynette. But I still think that Jiffy is better than, co than cotton picking cornbread. And it's a buttermilk, yeah. I do make cheesecakes. I make cheesecakes all the time. Where you been at, Tanya? If you guys are just coming on, please like and share, like and share. Love you too, sweetie pie. Hey, Kia, hey, Kia G. Okay, so now I have these vegetables cooking down really good. So what I'm going to do now that these vegetables are cooking down, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to transfer this meat to the mixture. All right. That's the ground turkey. And you see, as you see, I, I told you, keep the juices. Keep the juices. So we're going to go back over here closer so you guys can see into this pot all right let me put it down so you can see i hope you can see all right can you stir that up like that let me, see. Let me adjust this camera Yeah, there you go. You can see it now. All right. Yes, 
you have to go back and look. Okay, so now I'm gonna start putting the spices in. This is a tablespoon of onion powder. All right. A tablespoon of garlic powder. All right. It's a teaspoon of cumin. I'm gonna use some two teaspoons of black pepper. All right. A teaspoon of paprika. All right. This is a teaspoon right here. This is a teaspoon of jalapeno, ground jalapeno. This is where we're going to get a little bit of spice from. This ground jalapeno. It's really, really good, you guys. I used it in um, my guacamole the other day when I made some guac, and it was so, so super good. It just adds just a little bit of spice. So now we're going to stir all that up. Notice I haven't added my chili powder to it yet. Alright, so we're going to mix all that up. This would have been a good night, everybody, to be over here. Monica, you got to come and do, come over one Tuesday. Tuesday night when you're not doing anything. Okay, so now I'm going to start adding my beans. So this is that's my kidney beans. That's my dark kidney beans. My can of pinto beans. Okay. This is the light kidney beans. These are the northern beans. Alright. And these are the black beans. Five bean chili. And I'm stir those in there. Look at that. Five bean chili. Alright. You're going to get Southwest Chili. All right. So I have two cans of Zesty Chili. They're diced tomatoes. But they're season so they're kind of like like a chili tomato seasoning in them uh, look at that that's nasty come out so I put two cans of chili in there of uh, diced tomatoes and one can of chili sauce Mix it up. Mix, mix, mix. So 
So the last thing you're gonna put in there, because you have tomatoes, I mean, the corn has a little sweetness to it, but I'm gonna add That's two, that's two teaspoons, two tablespoons of sugar. Let me put a little more salt. Not much. Because you use canned vegetables, um, when you use canned beans, I don't use much salt because they, they have a lot of sodium in them. And then all canned goods, most canned goods have a lot of sodium in them. So I don't use much salt when I'm using canned goods. So now we've done that and we're gonna. And what the sugar does is for the tomatoes, it just takes the little acidity out of the tomatoes. Yes, I am making chili. I'm making chili. So I'm going back. So now what I'm going to do is um, the corn is on. I have, I'm going to let it cook for a little while. And once it starts cooking and it comes to a little boil, then guess what I'm going to add? I have four tablespoons, four, four tablespoons of chili powder I'm going to put on it. So my cornbread is in the oven. And what I'm gonna do for my cornbread, because remember what I said, I call it buttery homemade cornbread. So, we gotta melt some more butter. Where's the butter? So I'm gonna melt a whole nother stick of butter. And this stick of butter, I'm just gonna pour it right on top. Right on top of the cornbread. So, let me dry this up. And I'm gonna slice up this butter. So what's everybody talking about? That chili is going to be, yes, because the spices and the seasoning and everything is going, going through it, yes. Oh yeah, it will be. It's really good the next day. If you're just coming on, please like and share, like and share, like and share. Thank you, Mary. So for some of you who most I, I talk about her on every last one of my lives, so you guys know. Where is Irvin? Is Irvin on here? Um, I have I'm doing my next week is Thanksgiving. So with next weekend being Thanksgiving, um I am feeding the homeless. I always I always 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 feed the homeless. Um, <laughs> I, um, thank you, Tiffany. So with me feeding the homeless this year, um, I'm looking to, I've raised about a thousand dollars so far, but I'm, there's still things that I'm in need for, um, because I have to rent a van to transport all the food to downtown so that I could actually feed the homeless. Um, I actually need other people who will be willing to volunteer to help to um, prepare and set up uh, and scout different places to go. Hey, Irvin, how are you? So, I, 
don't have on. Look, that's, I just have on this one. I took them off when I was changing. But um, I still need help. I still need other people. If you don't mind donating, if my people just get five dollars, five dollars, that would be the greatest gift of all. And anybody who comes and helps volunteer on Thanksgiving morning to do it, you're actually going to be eating dinner with me that day because I'm still cooking for my family. So you'll be able to still eat Thanksgiving dinner with me that day. So um, please, please, please. Monica, I'm going to hold you to that. So I would really, really greatly appreciate it. Um, somebody's trying to wants to come on video. Who's trying to come on? Ah, oh, that's Kayla and Precious. Were they behind me? Because they will be behind me, and I don't even know they're behind me. Um, but um, I am doing everything I can, and I'm trying to push through this whole, whole thing of doing. Thank you, Tiffany. I appreciate that. I, I really greatly appreciate that, because... There's so many people that are in need. Hey, Auntie Yvonne. And, you know, it's the magnitude of the of just giving and the, the great feeling is just great. I mean, it just feels so good just to do. Like, when I cook here in the house on Tuesday and Thursday nights, and I have food left over, or I've cooked an abundance of food, and I know that my kids are not going to eat all this food, I'm I'm just gonna tell you guys I fix fix plates because I know like a couple of blocks up the street from my house there's some homeless guys that's always out there. Hey Tammy, hey Joey Kears, there are these homeless guys that are always out there. So I'll fix plates and I'll take it up there and I'll give it to them. You know, cause I know they're there. So I am doing it from the bottom of my heart. So if you can give from the bottom of your heart to help me to give back to others, that'll be great. And I'm going to be posting. I'm going to be going live so you guys can see exactly where your money is going. Because I don't want anybody to think that, oh, I used your money for something other than what I said I was using it for. No, I'm going to use it for what I said I'm using it for. As a matter of fact, I'm, going, I'm putting my own money in there too. So I want people to know and understand that this is not something that, hey, Felicia. Hey, Felicia. This is not something that I'm doing for any kind of kudos or bells. Or I'm not trying to do that. It's doing it because I'm doing it because this is what I'm doing from the bottom of my heart. But Esther, you already know. Monica, they are. They are everywhere. They are. They are really everywhere. You know, I open my home and I open my heart to a lot of people heck it gets trampled on all the time my feelings get hurt all the time but i've had to learn to have thick skin do what i got to do and keep it moving so you know oh no you didn't miss nothing um urban you just missed me putting together this chili thank you hey michelle <laughs> yes, my yes, Esther, and I tried to get your straight tail over here tonight. There goes my hey cousin Karen. So let me check this chili. I'm gonna start this chili, you guys. So let's let's take a look at it because I'm trying to get it to I want it to come to a boil. My whole my my whole house, my kitchen is falling apart. Every time I come in the kitchen, something else breaks. I'm going to point to it. And it's driving me crazy. God's going to bless me, though. He said he's going to bless me. Because Lord knows in 2019, I want a new house. So God is going to definitely bless me with that new house. I, it's been on my vision board for a long time. Okay, so see you guys. It's starting to boil. So I'm going to go ahead now. And I'm going to put this three. Remember I said three tablespoons. Yes. Three tablespoons of chili powder. So 
I got this. everything I want in 2019. I'm getting my new house in 2019, honey. So let me melt this butter. Come over here to the microwave. Okay. It's almost done. I, I'm claiming it. I'm claiming it. Y'all see my red head? Hi. <laughs> my red head. So, 2019, that's right, Monica. Monica. Pretty hungry. Kayla says she's pretty hungry. Okay, so let me check this. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it looks great. Not bad. No, it's not quite good. Hey, you guys. So, all right, so I got this melted butter, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this melted butter on top of this cornbread. So you bake the butter into it? Mm-hmm. That's how you get the buttery taste. So you bake the butter into the cornbread. Okay, you guys. Thank you. Okay. So, can we hold, pull it down so they can see? This one, right? Yeah. So... I poured the butter over the cornbread. So I put it on there. See how it's on there? Now I'm gonna put it back in the oven and I'm gonna bake it for about another 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn it, let me turn it around. I'm gonna bake it for about another 10 minutes. Said, did, Kayla just, did Kayla just wake up? That's Brian. <laughs> she looks like she did, doesn't no, she Brian? You guys, I was just chilling. Hey Angela Wallace. So he said, Kayla is your tear. Want some red hair. Monica said she wants some red hair. <laughs> Whatever, Monica. Yes, it's my color. I can't see you with red hair. She said, sweet girl. Miss you. Miss you too. Lynette, she wants some red hair too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Al Walker. Salita Taylor, Wanda Williams. Hey, y'all. Anybody who's just coming on, please. Hey, Natasha, like and share. Hey, Brian, you already know. She, look. Monica said, what do you think? Mm-hmm. So, let me go back to this chili, you guys. Oh, Kayla, Kayla came down because it's almost time to eat. That's why. So I'm stirring this cornbread some more. And we said, so I just want to talk about, I am making some homemade five bean chili. Some homemade South Southwest five bean chili. I'm on your page right now. Okay, awesome. You call me Angela Wallace. You can call me for it. Hey, Sam Carter. Anybody who's just coming on, please like and share. Like and share. Yes, and homemade cornbread. Please like and share. So, um, and this cornbread, I mean, it's actually starting to get a nice little boil, so I'm going to taste it. So I got the cornbread, and I, I put let the cornbread, once I poured the butter on it, I will. I'll make sure I tell them your daughters will be in December. So I'm gonna taste this chili. 
well. I know. It's almost done. 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Yeah. So, I told Easy, tell your brother to come here, Kayla, because I told him, or you can do it, Kayla. You can pull some um, bowls down. Some bowls down. Okay, so let me, let's go here. Hey, Keith Brown. Hey, Joy. So, all right, so I need to, I'm going to let you see it. Oh, man. It's really good, you guys. It's not it's not real spicy. Thank you, Keith. I appreciate that. Yeah. It's not real spicy. It's like just right. It's just it's got like a perfect bit of spiciness to it. The seasoning is really good. So you see there you guys. Look at that. So I'm going to y'all think about that cornbread and that cornbread pretty what you think what you think so that is the cornbread and it is nice and done and you see it's got that buttery texture to buttery texture and that's why I poured the butter on top so the butter the, the last 10 minutes of it it bakes down into it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make since Kayla is the one down here, because she's already asking, when is it ready? I'm going to make her a plate. Can we you see? Give me a ladle. I would prefer a ladle than using this spoon. Okay. Top draw in, in, um, in the, over there. Let me cut this cornbread while Kayla gets a... Um, It. And 
let me tell you. You want a corner? My kids brag on their mama's cornbread. It's, it's, how many things? Three things that, well, I can't say three things because there's a lot of things that they really brag on. But my cornbread, my seafood dressing, macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. So, all right. Got a ladle now, so let's put some chili in this bowl for her. Is that good? Mm -hmm. All right, get you another plate. Get you another plate to put on. To set this in. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Did you, do you want sour cream and cheese? It's not, sour cream. It's not sour cream. Okay. So she's gonna put cheese on her chili. So I like to use the Mexican style cheese when we do chili. All right. Need some, a little bit of a little bit of cheese in the middle. And then she says she wants this corner. Look at that corner. Ooh, nice simple meal. Look at there. So chili and cornbread. Yes, yes, yes. Take a picture of it. So nice chili and cornbread. Thank you, Tiffany. I'm trying to adjust this. You said cabin meal? Yeah, I could make this at the cabin. It's really easy to make. So it would be a good, easy, quick meal to make for the cabin. So I could do that when we go to the cabins. Monica Polo, why are you jealous? Brian Russell, you live close to me. You you and Monica, I mean you and uh, Esther live the closest to me. Hey Kyle, hey boo. So you guys can come anytime. Yes, corners keep it together. So. This cornbread, this cornbread is everything. So, Kayla's gonna taste the cornbread. Kayla's gonna taste the food. And she's gonna let me know what she thinks. Kayla, call your brother. Let me make EJ a plate. Like those other bowls. You said the chili. Kayla said, Kayla said the cornbread is great, but the chili is greater. Okay. Who said for real? Right, Brian, for real. Oh, that's okay. Continue. You all you gotta do is go back, Kiki, and watch it. Understand, Brian. Understand. You can't have any then. Yep. Hey, Abadella. So I'm making another. I think this bowl is a little better because I just like the way it sits. And you can actually see all the stuff. So look at that. 
I like the way that bowl looks better. Kayla liked the other bowl because it's deeper, but I just like this bowl. And I'm going to get a piece of this cornbread. See, Kayla liked that corner. Guess what I like? I like the middle. That's my piece. Look at that. Y'all see that cornbread? And you see the steam coming off of it? Yay! You look at that. So, some people like to put, I'm not crazy about it either. Kayla says she doesn't like it either. I like, well, hello from Dublin, Ireland. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I like, I don't too much, I don't, not particular about sour cream on my chili either. But some people like to put sour cream in the middle of their chili and then put the cheese on top of the sour cream. So, I'm really, 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 I just prefer it with a little bit of cheese. You can, And I don't even have to have cheese. Yes, honey, I am working on this thing, baby. Esther, I am. It's a work in progress, but it's coming. Thank you. I gotta make EJ's plate because I think here he comes. Where's your brother? You can change it. So I gotta make EJ's plate too. Did you call your brother, Kayla? She didn't even call him. She just wouldn't sat down to eat. Now, EJ, he'll eat any piece of the cornbread. So I got him. Thank you so much, Ronan. I appreciate that. So I'm going to go back again, and I'm going to show you guys. Look at this. So I made EJ a plate. But let me tell you, the difference between EJ, me, and Kayla... EJ will eat the sour cream on his. No, he doesn't. EJ will eat the sour cream. So I'm going to put a dollop of sour cream in the middle of his. And I am going to put cheese on top of that we are there so you guys can come anytime and have this delicious meal you know come on by but yes EJ eats like you Lynette but what you say Kayla you like it? No. So, you can have thirds, Ronan. You can have as much as you like. Um, but, so since I didn't, I was trying to wait for EJ to come downstairs because uh, he's my, you know, Kayla's my biggest critic. EJ, he's a little easier to please. I don't have to worry about him. But, um, let me call him. But I really appreciate you guys watching. And if you have not, I'm going to say it again. If you have not donated, donate it to the Soul in the Bowl, um, Feed the Homeless, for Thanksgiving and Christmas, please, 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 if you can find it in your heart to do so, if you can just give $5. You can go into my Facebook group or you can even go into, you can go on my Facebook page and it's there. Uh, I have a link that showing for um, the donations where we're looking and I like I said before I will be going live the day of um, on Thanksgiving Day ah okay
Okay, Jenny, you can have some. I will be going live on Thanksgiving Day so you guys can see that I am actually out here feeding these people and doing what I can. Um, my kids aren't gonna eat but so much of this food. And you see, I made a big pot. So I'll probably be fixing some pot bowls and stuff and taking it to some of the homeless people around here. Um, I know I can find them. They usually are sitting outside of McDonald's or they're sitting outside of one of the quick trips or something. But um, I just feel it's a duty and a calling. So I'm listening to what God has told me to do. So I appreciate everybody watching. And again, if you find it in your heart, please give, give, give. I really would, every dollar, every cent will be will go to take care of somebody else. Um, looking forward to seeing you guys again on Thursday. And we'll only be doing one live. No, we'll do two lives next week. Because I'll do Thursday. But if I come on live on Thursday on Thanksgiving Day, it's just more so to show what I cooked for Thanksgiving dinner. And um, I'm actually off uh, I'll just work Monday and Tuesday of next week. So I'm off Wednesday and Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So if you guys... Good night. Good night, Ronan. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, Shamal Miller. So if you guys find it, like I said, if you find it in your heart to give, I would do appreciate it. But thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a great and prosperous work week. Thank you. Good night.